Hey, hello guys, I am Miai, and today we're gonna do an aim booster test between two mouse. One of them is the Razer Viper regular version versus Model O regular version. And we both test them on 600 dpi and 611 in Windows. And I will show you some comparison of different angles of the models, and then we're gonna play. Just chill, it's Saturday, hooray, we have weekend guys. So let's go, let's dive deeper in. arrived at the software on the left you see Razer Viper 600 dpi and on the right you see glorious model O with 600 dpi both activated click and now we have aim booster it's a free to play flash game on aimbooster.com and you basically click challenge and you practice and we start off with the Razer Viper three times okay focus Ah, uh, 76, 76, first attempt, second attempt, right now, 76, we can beat this guys, I'm sure, doesn't mean if I not perform very well with the Razer Viper, doesn't mean you can't perform very well with the Razer Viper, but I'm also good with the Razer Viper, it's not I ideal for my shape, for my hand shape. A G502 Hero or even a Model O is better shaped for my hands. Maybe because of uh, how I grip it. 71, also not so great. Okay, third attempt. Activate a right now. It's Saturday, guys. I bought some wine for live streaming. If you want to watch my live stream, it's on Twitch slash me I1. And not one in num uh, letters, but one in this number. So me, I won. And then you can watch it if you want it. I do a lot of Kofax and Starcraft and Counter-Strike. And maybe Borderlands 3, actually. So... One hundred fourteen. I will give it another chance. Fourth attempt, guys. Fourth attempt. Take four. Let's see if I increase my score. Oops. Because I changed a lot of mice and my position is not so great with this mouse. As I told you, the shape is not the right one for my hand. But it's an amazing mouse, guys. If you like it, it can be amazing for you. Not so great for me, but... Ah, I feel... Okay, the fourth attempt is 107. I think I will not get any higher score. Both Model O and the Razer Viper has a very flexible ascended cord, so that's very nice. I think Razer has his own cord, but Model O has an ascended cord. That means flex, ultra flexible, and you need to be careful that you not break the cable. Actually, they you can kill the mouse with it, but ooh, this is way better shape for me at my end. Okay, Model O. Can you beat the Razer Viper with 114, I believe, if I'm not mistaken? 
It's not so high score, guys. I get already 250 with the Model O on a video a couple of days ago. There was a different comparison this between Razer and Model O. So, and a different mouse pad. So, light also very important in uh, your aiming. In FPS shooters, for example. Or your precision in Osu. Or your precision in Kovacs. Your precision in Counter-Strike. And whatever other shooter you may play. It's actually pretty hard to talk, communicate. And at the same time perform very well in um, aim booster. But I will try to do two things at the same time. And actually also I'm thinking about coffee at the same time. Weird, isn't it? It's very weird, I would say. But I think I already surpassed the fiber of this model. Oh. 190. Wow. I give that an uh, applause. Applause. First attempt 190 with Model O. You can say I perform better with the Model O than the Viper. The Viper is just not shaped for me proper. I think it's because of the left and the right mouse button. They are not curved for my fingers in the right direction. And the Model O is more, more like it. I still not per like the Model O shape actually. Don't get me wrong. Still not the perfect shape for me but it's coming close. I actually want to buy an uh, Hayati? Hayati mouse. Haiti. G Wolves Haiti. So that I can think about multiple names while I also perform in Osu. I want to say Osu. <laughs> Guys, it's Aim Booster. But. I try to uh, annoy myself so I get a shitty score. I actually hacking the system. Oh my god. Okay, guys. So guys, this was the video. I know I did only two attempts with, him, uh, with the Model O, but I performed better already in the first attempt with the Model O. It's not the Razer Viper is an awful shape, don't get me wrong. Maybe I should buy the Razer Viper Mini and it's maybe better for my hand. But I think I go for the G-Wolf's Haiti and it's similar as the G-Pro Wireless shape and the G-Pro Wireless I already tested in the store and it was an amazing shape. Why do I like a G Pro Wireless, for example? The buttons are rounded. That means you can place them anywhere on the buttons. Curve buttons like Razer Viper, you can only place them in the curve, curveness. And if you not do that, you're sitting on the edge and it feels irritating and annoying. So G Pro Wireless, you can have for better, better grip styles. There's not only straight grip. For example, I have a curved finger and I want to have a curved direction. Uh, I don't say it's necessary, but it's nice to have. And especially a rounded mouse button, you can sit and sit anywhere on the edge, closer to the scroll wheel, more forward, more backwards, because of it's rounded. It should not too be too much rounded, otherwise you have the same effect as in V-shape. But yeah. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this aim booster test video. This doesn't mean the Model O is 10 times better as the Razer Viper. It's all depending on your hand and your hand size, your grip style, uh, how young you are, your hand size, I already told you. And uh, yeah, the, the weight of the mouse, depending on if you like heavy or do you use high sensitivity or low sensitivity. It's all on depending factor. Also, the Teflon underneath the mouse can have a different glide. Also, the mouse pad has a different glide. The weight has a different glide. 
the person that's using the mice has a different glide and g-force he's using his arm it's all depending on yeah human industry actually guys so <laughs> okay guys thanks for watching and see you guys bye bye guys bye bye thanks for watching bye